right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Super Console X Cube. This is the latest release in the Super Console family from the folks over at Ken Hank. This is an emulation device allowing you to play thousands upon thousands of games. Comes in various different forms as far as the card loadout. So you can get 64 gigabyte all the way up to 256 gigabyte. The 256 gigabyte one is your fully loaded version that has over 50,000 games inside the box. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we get. We got a box within the box because yeah. So we get an HDMI cable. What else we got? The console itself, neatly bubble wrapped. Something else in here. Our power wall adapter. And let's see, looks like we've got our user manual. Has information on setting up the controller. This will accept various different controllers, not just the ones that come with it. So if you pretty much got any kind of USB controller, you'll get it to work on here. Uh, you can load your own games if you don't find games on here that you like. It shows you how to load your own games. So that's your user manual. A little information pamphlet for the controllers. Controllers themselves, we've kind of seen this thing before. PlayStation 2 style knockoff controllers. Go ahead and open the back tab here. You get your wireless USB dongle that you plug into the system, powers up with AAA batteries, and you're good to go. Uh, I've said this before, I'll say it again, these aren't the worst controllers, they're not the best controllers, they'll do in a pinch, but yet again, if you don't like them, you can use other controllers like 8-Bit Do and things like that. But here we are, the system, let's talk about the system. Obviously, looks pretty cool, looks like an NES console, and one of my favorite features of it has the drawer there, but it's got four USB ports. So most of these emulation consoles always kind of like max out at two USB ports. So technically, yeah, you can add more controllers and you can have like a USB hub and have four players that way. But this one is designed to allow you to plug in four USB controllers right out of the gate. So that's pretty nice. Plus we got the little, you know, the, the, the door there, the tray door, which is always nice. Nothing here on the left-hand side. On the back, we have our power button, push in, push out. We got our power wall spot here. We got an ethernet port. We have our HDMI out. We got the SD card slot, and then we've got our audio jack as well. And then we have a warning says, do not plug or unplug the USB controller while the power is on. So make sure you heed that warning. In terms of size and everything, here's a Nintendo NES Classic. Here is the Super Console X Cube. So it's actually a little bit smaller as far as width, but it's slightly taller. So that gives you an idea of scale, very handy little device. Um, obviously something like this is geared towards people that don't want to mess with the hassle of setting up an emulation PC, things like that. I always see comments that are like, oh, you could do this so much better on a PC. Yeah, you could, but these are you know marketed for people that don't have the knowledge or the know-how or the time to set up an emulation PC and just set up thousands upon thousands of games that way. This is a plug and play solution for people that just wanna play hundreds upon thousands of their favorite old school retro games and just turn it on and play games. You know, just, it couldn't be any more simple than that. So let's go ahead and boot up the device and see what she has to offer. All right, here we have the main user interface. And as you can see, we've got the 256 gigabyte full load here with over 50,000 games. Now that is a little bit misleading because not all of these games play exceptionally well and there are a lot of duplicates specifically in the arcade under MAME and Final Burn Alpha as well as the arcade subfolder. There's there's tons of duplicates in that one. But as you can see, loads and loads of systems, all your favorite classic systems, you know, everything from arcade, Atari to your consoles, loads of systems. It has some of the heavy hitters, so Thomas Wave, Naomi, Dreamcast, PlayStation Portable, things like that. Although each one of them will have their own unique individual quirks. Some work better than others. Some of them have frame skip enabled automatically. So if you're looking for a super powerful emulation device that plays everything exceptionally well with 100% authentic emulation, this is not the device for you. Are the games playable? Yes. Will you run into some issues where some of them are stuttering, sputtering, and have some audio crackling? Absolutely. Uh, and there's also a couple of weird mixed bag examples that I would probably consider unplayable. But for the most part, I would say 95% of everything I've tested has been very good. And if not that, it's very playable. The only really outliers I found were like the Killer Instinct on Nintendo 64 and a couple of the Atomus Wave games for whatever reason kept crashing on me. 
And that is my biggest gripe on this. It just feels like they could have done a little bit better with putting this image together and testing all the games before they put it out there. Um, you do have your, your main options, of course. You hit start, you go into your game settings, change things like your aspect ratio, change it from widescreen to 4.3 natively, whatever you want, turn on or off smoothing. Now, one quirk I did notice, no matter what I do, I cannot turn off the bezels on this. So I can hit off and go back. It doesn't matter how I do it, but no matter what, I go back into it and it's always turned back on. Doesn't matter anything I do. So for whatever reason, I'm stuck with the bezels on here, which personal preference, I personally don't like the bezels, but to each throne, a lot of people do like the bezels. Uh, another couple of things I've, I've noticed on here. So you go in here and you'll, you'll start to look for your games. Everything's, you know, neatly categorized, has some box art. Um, but let's give an example here. So I'll try to play open ice right here and you'll see it's going to pop up and try to start and then it'll crash because it's not set up and formatted correctly. Um, there's probably only maybe 10, 10 examples of games I've played or tried to play and found this example out of, you know, 50,000. Obviously I can't test them all, but should be noted that not everything on here is going to work exceptionally well. And there's just some random things you'll run into. Uh, another thing I've noticed is when you go into the game, some of them have uh, some video image, you know, previews and some of them don't. So we got Dolphin Blue here showing a nice little preview image of the game. You go over to another game and nothing. No video preview image, no video preview image, no video preview image. I mean, it's just it's literally a, a coin toss whether or not you get those extra details. But if you don't like this theme, if you want something a little different, it's very easy to change. Hit start, go to your user interface. This one comes preloaded with a couple other images. Um, each To each their own, you can change them. That is it in a nutshell. Very simple to change. But without further ado, let's go ahead and show you some examples of the emulation so you can see what this thing is really capable of.
So at the end of the day, you're getting a nice styled NES console device. You get four USB ports, plays thousands of games excellently. It does have some quirks, does have some hiccups. So it's not the most powerful emulation console out there. So if you're looking for something that just has all the power in the world, this is not for you. If you're looking for something for the kids, this is definitely something that they would probably be interested in. It has that old school aesthetic and most of the old school games are gonna play absolutely perfect for you. But yet again, if you're looking for something that has all the power and plays things like a Thomas Wave, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64 without any hiccups, then this isn't the device for you. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot. Thank you.